The process of creating a Monroe suspension strut begins with receiving the raw materials to be used in manufacturing. When the raw material arrives at the manufacturing plant, it must be stored on the shelves to await the pertinent quality control processes and authorization for its use in the production chain. The process of manufacturing the bars for the rods begins with cutting the 6-meter bars in sheer cut lines. This process intends to adjust the size of the initial bars to the definitive size of the shock absorber rods. After tempering the rod, we proceed to mechanize its pin on both ends, creating the threads for the upper lock nut and the piston valve. After this, the surface of the rod is prepared for the chrome plating process. The chrome plating process consists of applying a layer of chrome on the rod's body to increase its durability and resistance to wear. This process occurs over several phases. First, the bars to be chrome plated are loaded in the frame which will then be placed in several tanks to be washed. Afterwards, we proceed to the chrome plating process, which is where the chrome covering is added to the bar. After leaving this oven, the bars are now perfectly chrome plated and go to the cleaning stage where they obtain the definitive surface finishing. Once this phase is over, the technicians check their roughness index to ensure that they comply with all the quality specifications. In the case that the bars are for the suspension columns, also known as struts, the extension ring is welded through four-point welding. 100% of the bars are later confirmed at 1,000 kilos or 1,500 kilos, depending on the type of bar, to ensure that they are correctly welded. The next step is to prepare and oil the rod guide and the shaft seal to be assembled later in the shock absorber rod. The assembly of the piston valve is done through a robotic station. A technician feeds the baskets from which the robots extract the distinct washers that it needs to mount the valve and finalize the assembly. When the bar comes back on the piston, the nut is placed on the bar and is fixed with a special extra strength adhesive to ensure the assembly, to make sure it doesn't come loose. In the next step, the correct torque is provided, and later its value is confirmed together with the angle of the nut to ensure that it is not tightened at an incline, which thus, in spite of providing the correct torque, could lead to the piston coming loose. The process now proceeds to the assembly of the base valve. The robot picks up the inner tube, and with the measurement control, the robot ensures that the tube has the appropriate size for the set. It then pressure fixes the base valve and introduces the sub-assembly of the bar with the piston. In the next step, they are placed in the carousel to be filled with oil and to mount the inner sub-assembly. Pressurized oil is used to fill the inner tube through the foot valve. When the tubes are filled with oil, a stress test is performed to confirm that they function correctly. If the test is satisfactory, the assembly is closed and filled with gas. The process of painting the shock absorbers is done over two phases. The first consisting of a primer paint by cataphoresis, ending with a matte color, and a second process in which the pieces are cured in an oven, which is where its final shiny black-colored appearance comes from. After all these processes are finished, the struts are ready to be sent to the packaging area, where they will be placed in their respective boxes and stored for transport to different points of sale.